Hello, today I'm going to go over how to hack Facebook Messenger's endless light game. What we're going to be doing today is setting our max coin and score values, making yourself immortal, and also increasing the speed of your character. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do first is open up the inspector. So right click, inspect. We're going to go to the sources tab. And the game hasn't been loaded yet, so let's go ahead and open that up. You can see this index.html folder is created. Open that, you go into apps, instant bundle. And the file we're gonna be editing is game.min.js. So double click that. You can see at first, this is really all just code crammed together in one block, which makes it hard to read, but we can pretty print the file. So go to the bottom left corner, click the double braces icon. We're just gonna select all this. So control A, control C. If you're using a Mac, it'll be Command-A, Command-C. I'm gonna go ahead and save this in any text editor. Today I'll be using Sublime. So I'm just gonna paste this here, Control-V. Then I'm also gonna add some syntax highlighting, just so it makes it easier for me to read. So now that we have the code, let's go back to the browser. We're gonna set a breakpoint in here. So we just need to set it anywhere close to the top. So you, you can't really set it at line one, but we'll allow you to set it at line four, which is fine, as long as it's breaking before our code executes. So you can see I just clicked on the sidebar to add it. You can click to remove, or you can right click, add breakpoint. So now that the breakpoint has been added, let's just close the game. And we're gonna open it back up. And you can see we're now paused in the debugger, which is exactly what we want. And this is where we're gonna actually uh, make our changes. So go back to your text editor. And the first thing we're gonna look for is a variable called immortal. So control F, search, immortal. And this will basically make us immortal throughout the game so we won't fall through the water. We'll just run across it. So to become immortal, just have to set this value to true or one. So just remove the exclamation point. And the only thing with being immortal is that you, you can't die uh, and you need to die to at least set your score and coin values. So what we can do is look for spaces. So control F spaces, or sorry, just space. And, and this key down function or has uh, space equal to this mouse down. What we're gonna do is just add this dot immortal set that equal to zero. So whenever we hit the space bar, we won't be immortal. You can also set it to the opposite value of whatever it is at the time. So you can toggle it on and off. Now that we have that set, let's go ahead and change our speed. So let's just look for speed. It may be easier to look for immortal actually because the speed is actually in the, in the same area. So let's just go back to immortal. And right above this variable, there's a speed variable. This is actually the player's running speed. So let's just set that to one. Now that we have the invincibility set and the speed, let's go ahead and set the score and coin values. So you're not gonna be changing them here because they do get overwritten later. So if you scroll up, you can see there's a score and a coins variable, but those changes here won't actually work in the game. So let's just look for this stack coins. And this is actually the function we're looking for. So you can look for this too, variable and it's the alias. So this is where we can make our, our changes. So the max value you can actually have for your coins is 9,999. And the max score you can have is 99,999. So let's just go ahead and set that. And you guys don't have to worry about making any of these changes. I will leave this file in the, in the uh, description, but feel free to make any changes you want to the file I upload. So we have all our changes implemented. We just need to copy it over, so Control A. Control C, go back to the browser. 
we're just going to paste over all this code here. So control A, control V to paste. And uh, it's very important that you save. If you don't save, no, this will work. So right click and save. So now we're ready to continue playing the game. So hit the play button. You can see I already set the, the max high score here. But that was from a previous run. Let me just mute the music. Hit play. So as you can see, my high score was set, my coin values were set, and uh, we're moving really, really fast. And we're also not falling through the water. So we can actually uh, go ahead and disable this immortality mode from the toggle we added by clicking the spacebar, since we already hit the max score. So if I hit spacebar, you can see that we fell through the water. So those are just some simple changes you can make to the game. Uh, basically it allows you to do most of what you need to do. Uh, thank you for watching guys. I appreciate the views and the support. And feel free to leave a suggestion in the comments below for what I should look into next. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.